Definitely Looking Guy is me, Daniel from todaysiphone.com. I'm going to show you some free apps that will help you in the things you do every day. This is iPhone versus Y. Now in today's iPhone vs. Wild episode, I'm going to take a road trip. So I'm going to be showing you the best free apps that will aid your road trip experience. So here we go. So if you have an iPhone, the first thing you're going to need for a good road trip is good music. So make sure you have that first. So I've been driving for a while now, and I'm hungry. I'm not familiar with the area I'm in, so I'm going to use Urban Spoon. Urban Spoon is a nice app for uh, if you've never been somewhere, or if you have indecisive friends. One of my favorite features is you can go through and you can decide what kind of uh, food you want, let's say Greek, and then you lock it in to, so it won't lock, and then you can decide price point, we'll go there, and you can decide town, so we'll go, let's go Concord. Lock those in, and you can hit shake, and it's finding restaurants. And it took you to a restaurant, and then of course you can get maps, you can like it, don't like it, you can get the phone number, you can read reviews, all that kind of stuff. But, let's say you just want it to be spontaneous, you can shake it and it'll go through all of them, or you can lock one or two, you know, you can lock as many as you want. And there you go, it shows barbecue and R&R uh, &R barbecue. So it's a really nice app for, um, for indecisive people, which I find a lot of people to be indecisive. So I've been driving for a few hours now and I'm starting to get bored. So hey, I decided I'll show you MapQuest Mobile. Pretty awesome. So this is MapQuest Mobile, which is obviously uh, from MapQuest, and it offers some improvements over the map application that is built in. Um, the number one, what I would say, is you can uh, it offers voice navigation, which is nice. There's also some cool ones like here. You just flip that open, and you can get gas stations or food or hotels. It's pretty nice. So let's try to find a food place, restaurant. I'm gonna pull that up, I believe. Restaurant. Show me the restaurants. There we go. And there's a restaurant right here. We'll pick which one should we pick? Pick this guy. This is multiple locations, so tap to zoom in. So we'll go to so let's go to Blue's Barbecue. So um, we'll just hit add to route. And I'm gonna delete this route that we have right there, and we'll just go there. So we will, uh, we will get driving directions. It's loading route, or route, whatever you want, whichever way you say it. And here, you're going to hear the vocal navigations. So you'll have the uh, navigational thingy here, so you can swipe through and see what you're going to be doing, which is nice. And uh, it's just like a normal GPS uh, navigation system. So you can start it. And it's searching for restaurants. Get ready to turn right on Rock Hill Church Road Northwest. And that is cool. So you, now you can have free turn-by-turn -turn voice navigation. So I've just experienced pretty much the worst thing you can do on a road trip. My gas is low, and I'm not talking about body gas. I'm talking about fuel to run the car on. So that means I'm gonna have to pay, and I'm gonna have to pay a lot, especially right now. But I'm not gonna have to pay as much as I would if I didn't have an iPhone, because I have the Gas Buddy application. Gas Buddy, my dad loves Gas Buddy, the website, and he used to always check where we were gonna go. He would check the uh, gas prices so we could get the cheapest one. But now that I have an iPhone, I can do it on the road. So I'm gonna get the cheapest gas that's close to me, within reason, and it's gonna be great. So let me let me show you how this works. So here's Gas Buddy, loads up. You can uh, there you can sign in, but I'm just gonna do the uh, find cheap gas near me, which is probably what most people do it uh, for. 
and it's kind of nice because you can do it by distance or price so you know there may be a cheap one that's a long way away uh, so it won't be worth it so you can go for you know two pennies more and uh, it'll save you a lot of driving so distance wise uh, you can get you know some prices like 369 which is decent and you can see where it is you know what kind it is because you know like you don't want a Sam's Club or something where uh, you have to have a card to get the cheap price or you can also go by price and it is still BP so we'll say BP which is 2. miles away from us so, so I'll click on the BP and you can get directions to station which is nice so you get the all the prices down here and you get what time the price was reported and you can report prices so if it's changed you can so we'll just get directions to station so it's going to pull up the uh, map app and there you go you can get directions to it and it's a great app Alright, I made it to the first part of my road trip. I hope you guys liked it. Come back for part two later. You can follow me at Twitter at twitter.com slash TIP underscore Daniel. Or you can go to the website, which is todaysiphone.com. Come back for part two. Deuce. We'll say later.